So I went to the dealership today to get my spark plugs changed and they wanted $400 on my RAM and wasn't going for that so I decided to do it myself. Searched around for some videos, didn't really find too much, there's a couple um, I want to go over, just make a short one of what I'm doing. Uh, a couple tools that I'm using, 3 8 inch socket, um, a deep well, this is a 5 8 socket for the spark plugs, um, a couple extenders, two short ones, a longer one, and this piece is, is critical, the, uh, the pivot um, socket joint there. Um, I don't even know what size, I guess these are quarter inch drives, um, 10 millimeter, and a couple extensions for that if you might need those. Um, another crucial part that I found, I didn't know I was going to need this until I got to doing it, and luckily I had one, it's a uh, magnetic, a little telescopic thing with a light on it. Light's not really necessary, but having a magnet to pull out the spark plugs helps out a lot. Um, this is a 2012 Ram 1500. I do have the 5.7 Hemi in it. Um, I laid a blanket over the engine because you basically have to lay down to get to these spark plugs. I did take my uh, air intake tube off, it's a K&N air intake, it's lying over there. Take the air intake off. The passenger side here is supposed to be the easier side. It's more open, easier to get to. The driver's side over here is a more difficult side to do because you don't have a lot of room to work with. Um, the farther you go forward here, the easier. The back one is said to be the hardest to change. Um, I did these first three on this side. I'm going to shoot this video doing that last one, and we're going to see how hard it actually is. Um, stuff a little rag in there to keep that out of the manifold. And I will be back with the setup. Alright, I set the camera up best I could. Hope you can see it well. And we're going to get started. I had to grab my tools. Alright, so you basically you have to start by unplugging this. Just a little clip you press in. This unplugs and there's two screws holding this on and this is the plate I'm not sure exactly the, what it's called but um, it basically feeds power to the plugs and there's two screws holding that on that's where your little 10 millimeter socket comes into play now I'm not a mechanic whatsoever but $400 to change spark plugs is ridiculous to me. Got the second screw out, and this just, just wiggle it, come right off. Pop off the plugs, and 
That is what that looks like. Set that aside. Now, I would recommend letting their vehicle sit overnight because they do get hot. I don't have that option. I have to have it get it done by tomorrow. So my plugs are hot. When I stick my tools in there, my sockets come out hot. And you just got to be careful with that. Basically what I do from this point is <clears throat> you have to feed the pieces in one by one. You can't put it all together, your socket, and then expect to fit it in here. So first thing I do is I take my deep well 5 8 socket and I drop it in there. And then my one of my short extenders. I look find the socket and I plug it in. Now when you start off it's gonna be don't worry about losing your tools in there. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but with the socket and the extender, it's all set, it's flush with the uh, the block here. So and then I grab my your elbow, stick that piece on there, and think. Let's see. It's my long extender. Oops. And my socket wrench. I might switch this long one out for the other short one. See how it works. That should be fine. Ah, there we go. Popped it loose. Trying to bust your knuckles up. And now's the point where you just screw it out by hand. Um, As it comes out, I take the pieces off one by one, the same way I put them on. It's far enough out where I can take my elbow off. Alright. And you basically just, as you, as you screw the uh, spark plug out, you take the pieces off one by one. And just to make sure I have it out, I like to slowly turn it. So I hear it click, so I know it's fully unscrewed. Now I can take my extender and sock it out. And this is where the magnet comes into play. <clears throat> and I reach the magnet down in. There is, oh, come on little fishy, don't do this to me on camera, come on now, and there's your spark plug, alright, that was pretty easy, just tedious, and now, I'm going to cut the camera and pull out the other one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and film this one. How with it. You can skip through the video if you don't want to watch it. So we'll drop the socket in. Drop my stubby extender. That's it. Get your elbow. Long extender. And where? Oh, there it is. My socket wrench. All right.
there's uh, the elbow adapter. The angle adapter is an absolute must to do this. You would not be able to do without it. That's a crucial piece. And the magnet is a crucial piece, in my opinion. Spark plug number two. Now I'm going to get my spark plugs ready. Alright, so I've prepped my spark plugs. And basically, what that entails is you open up the spark plug, you check the gap, um, make sure the gap on the spark plug is correct. And what the gap is is the space between the that this pieces right there I'm not sure the technical name for them but anyway um, you can get a gap tool at your auto parts store I'll show you what it looks like if you're not familiar they're really cheap you just check your gap there's probably plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to do that and you also want to get some anti-seize, make sure you coat your threads with a nice thin coat of anti-seize. That way, next time you go to change your spark plugs, it'll be easy to get out. I've already coated mine. As you can see, this one's been coated. This one hasn't. Basically, I very carefully drop each plug as far as I can go into its hole you can almost see the whole thing if you just keep a finger on it right into where it's supposed to go um, I try not to drop them so I don't want to mess up the gap maybe if I dropped a little hard it might close the gap up a little bit but I'm just going to put them in nice and easy. This also helps if you have a nice cool engine because it won't be so daggone hot down in there. Spark plugs are in. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did taking them out. Drop your socket in. Your little stubby extender. Now, at this point, it's going to stick out a little bit so you can hand tighten just right there the plug while you can grab a hold of that extender as far as you can go alright now we're going to put on our elbow and we'll hand tighten it some more And just tighten it down. I don't have a torque wrench. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be torqued to. Just, you know, when you're putting it on too tight, just don't over tighten it. Because I can imagine that'd be really extremely bad news.
and there it is. We'll do this last one, but that's pretty much it. It's not hard at all if you have the right tools and the patience. You can save yourself a ton of money on changing spark plugs, especially if you have this vehicle and you got to change 16 of them. hole here and repeat the process I didn't do this on on the other one but when I get it set on the socket I like to turn it counterclockwise just till it clicks and there it goes just to ensure that you're not gonna cross thread it that would be bad news as well screw that in I hope y'all can see this. Put your elbow on. And that's it. Easy as pie. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there was some information that you could have got out of that. And uh, best of luck to you on saving yourself some cash and changing your spark plugs. Oh, did forget this. I'll keep it rolling. And we're going to slide this back in. stuff self-explanatory just put this back in order take it out kind of like to wiggle it down on there make sure it seats right grab your two screws wherever they went oh shit there goes one Alright, but you get the idea. It's back on. This part's easy. You just put your cover back on and plug it back in. So, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.